traditional companies set up committees and other committees. So this chapter is quite lengthy. This chapter, so you can study it well. Second is representation of expressions. So here we are going to see how to read the normal forms like hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Your voice is not clearly audible. Then it is not audible. Hello, hello, hello. Is yes. yes. no, also not visible. No, ma'am. Hello. Visible, I ring. Visible, I. Not audible, ma'am. No, ma'am. What is the actual problem? Madam, to me, just say that now, that when you are not able to clear the answer, then you can clear the answer. And you can clear the answer. Hello, Madam, how are you clearly? तुझे तो वे तू बस लाचिन ज़्यादा खाली कुड़ तेरी हाँ मंजे मैं आदम मैं आदम के लिए प्रॉब्लम आ गया था अरे मैं आदम रूम में दी बस लेते हैं ते आवाज़ गुम तो ही तो रूम में दी मगर तो कैंसिल कर ले चलो तो हाँ तो सोच ना स्टे हेलो मैम
मॅम तुम्ही मोबाईल वरून जॉईन करून मग ऑडिओ तिथलं ऑन ठेवा आणि लॅपटॉप वरून प्रेझेंट करा मग मे बी इल क्लिअर हा मोबाईल वरूनच जॉईन केले हॅलो मॅम नो चेक मॅडम आता येतो एक क्लिअर आता येतो ओके ओके so unit number 3 is the stone set theory in that we have to see what are the basic concepts of set theory types of operations on sets order pairs and cartesian product unit number 4 that is rest on relations so relations properties of relations matrix and graph representation partition and covering of set equivalence of relation composition Set, that is partially ordered set and has a diagram section number 2 is containing again four chapters so unit number 5 is based on functions so this is quite short chapter and this is including what are the different types of functions composition of function and inverse function now last three chapters are based on algebraic system in that we will see what is the algebraic system what are the different types of algebraic system like semi group monoid then boolean algebra okay all these are included in last three chapters so this unit number 6 is containing algebraic system that is definition of algebraic system properties of algebraic system then semi group and monoids and properties and example unit number 7 is based on groups that that is also one kind of algebraic system again it is containing polish expressions and their combinations groups and group codes and last unit is based on lattices and boolean algebra so in that we have to see what is the lattice what are the different properties of lattices how we can define the lattice as four set then examples special lattices boolean algebra again it is containing boolean algebra definition examples and boolean functions so this is our syllabus now we have to start with unit number 1 so first unit is a mathematical logic so here we have to see what are the different connectives and those connectives are negation conjunction disjunction conditional by conditional then we have to see what is this statement formula and what is the truth table how we can find out the truth table for any given statement formula then what is the definition for well formed formula what is the definition for tautology how we can check the equivalence of any two formulas then duality law then tautological implication functional complex set of connectives and last one is order connectives so here we have to refer the book discrete mathematical structures with applications to computer science written by jp tilde and r manohar so refer this book this book is including all the points from syllabus this is very nice book so you will get all the things at one place if you want to refer the reference book with these are the some books you can refer it for more examples now for each and every unit you have to solve assignment in that assignment first question is based on mcqs so from these mcqs you have to solve at least five mcqs so after completion of this chapter we are going to solve it i will share this pdf with you so you will get the things this is the assignment number 1 these are the some portions so our subject is theoretical examples so near about 50% weighted is given to theory and near about 50% weighted is given to examples so now next point we have to say about title of chapter so why 
title of this chapter is given as mathematical logic. So this chapter develops the logical ability in the students. In all, the, it also deals with the logic, logical statements, notations, connectives. It develops logic of how to apply the connectives and statement variables. That's why this chapter is called as mathematical logic. So main purpose of this chapter is to develop the logic in the students. So so that they can solve the examples based on any kind of problems. Next one is about central idea of chapter. So this chapter is based on mathematical logic, which includes introduction, statement, notations, connectives, and proof tables. It also gives idea about well-formed formula, tautology, equivalence, duality law, tautological implication, functionally complete set of connectives and other connectives. So once you complete this chapter, then you will come to know what are the meaning of these points. Now, importance of this chapter, that is why this chapter is included in our syllabus. This chapter is very important as it plays vital role in logical development is because logic is base of our computer science and engineering. So logic must be developed within each and every student. So we showed how to apply this ability to solve any kind of formula. This also gives logic about how to form a truth table from different statement formulas. That's why this will do the work of logical building. That's why this chapter is very important. Okay, now next one is that part we have seen already. What are the chapter objectives, outcomes? Now we will start with the actual syllabus. So, first point is statement and notation. So, first of all, we have to see what is the Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are audible. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Is it audible now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, first point is what is a statement? So statement is a sentence to which it is possible to assign either true or false value. Then only that sentence is called as statement. Now consider first example, Canada is country. So can we assign either true or false value for this sentence? Yes. Which value we can assign? True or false? True. true. Yes, true. That's why this sentence is called as statement. Now second one. Macau is a capital of Spain. So, this sentence is having truth value false. That's why right. this is a statement. Now, consider third example. This statement is false. So, can we assign either true or false value for this sentence? No. no. Yes, that's why right. this is not a statement. Now, fourth one, 1 plus 101 is equal to 110. So, what is the truth value for this sentence? False. False. 
no this is having truth value true that's why this is a statement you can assign either true or false if it is possible to assign the true or false then only then that sentence is called as statement now next one is close the door whether this one is a statement no ma'am no 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 yes that is correct we cannot say that this is statement because we cannot assign either true or false value okay. so likewise we can check for any sentence whether that sentence is statement or not if it is possible to assign either true or false value to that sentence then only we can say that that sentence is a statement have you got the idea about statements yes ma'am okay now we have to see what are the different types of statements so statements are divided into two categories first category is a primary atomic or <coughs> primitive statements and second one is compound or molecular statements so first of all we have to see what is a primary statement a statement without any sentential connective is called as primary statement so first of all we have to see what is meaning of sentential connective so we can say that and or but these are the sentential connectives in Eng english language and those are used to connect two different statements so here i will tell you one statement today is sunday okay so whether this one is a primitive okay i will tell you two different statements first statement is today is sunday and second one today is sunday and it is holiday okay so now you have to tell me in this statement we have used sentential connective are you getting what is meaning of connective um, yes ma'am yes second statement that is containing connective and that connective is and that's why we can say that second statement is a compound statement and first statement is a primitive or primary statement okay now for this compound statement a new statement that can be formed from the atomic statements through the use of sentential connectives are called as compound or molecular statements like today is sunday and it is holiday so this one is called as compound statement because here and is used and that and is called as sentential connective that is used to connect two different statements that is today is sunday and second one it is holiday so these two statements are joined together using and that's why this one is called as compound statement have you understood what is the difference between primitive and compound statement yes ma'am okay yes ma'am yeah good now here actual part of this chapter starts that is what are the different connectives many exams are examples are asked based on these so there are different connectives like negation conjunction disjunction conditional by conditional i think uh, this part is covered in 12th also is it so in 12th standard hello yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes sir okay so again we will repeat it and based on this we have to solve some examples first connective is negation so how we can define this negation the negation of statement is generally formed by introducing word not at proper place in the statement that is the one way or by prefixing the statement with the phrase it is not the case that so there are two different ways to form negation of given statement first one 
introduce the word not at proper place and second one prefix the given statement using the phrase it is not the case that okay so here if p is a given statement then negation of p is written as using this symbol as not p negation of p and read as not p so here one example is given based on that we can come to know that what is meaning of negation okay so state that statement is london is a city okay and that statement variable is p then how we can form the negation of this statement there are two different ways in the first way we can place not at proper place so whenever we have to find the negation of this statement we can say that negation of p is equals to london is not a city so here we have placed that word not at proper place and second one we have to prefix this statement with the phrase that it is not the case that so here we have to prefix this statement using it is not the case that again that statement london is a city so here both the ways are given <coughs> which one is appropriate to you you can use okay. now we have to form proof table for this statement p okay so if p is having truth value p then negation of p will have truth value false if p is having truth value false then negation of p Then I have to tell you T. So this is the proof table for given statement. Have you understood it? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. So again, there is there is one formula. How to find out number of truth values combinations? And that formula is two raised to n, and where n denotes number of variables in that formula so here just one variable is present that is p so 2 raised to 1 is equals to 2 that's why only two combinations are here p f f p so these only two combinations are there because there is only one statement variable and that variable is p so likewise if there are two variables in the formula then there would be possible two rest to two that is four combinations of truth values okay. again there are different symbols used for negation this is the most commonly used symbol negation again we can use the alternative symbols like this one also we can move for negation or we can write a bar or we can write not and this can be denoted using negation of p or this symbol this is also negation of p bar p this is also for negation and last one is not p so in this way we can represent negation but mostly we are going to use this symbol for negation and this negation is called as unary operator why this one is called as unary because it operates on Single statement or single variable. Now check here. Just one variable is there. That is p. So this one is called as unary operator. Now next one is for conjunction. That is second connective is conjunction. The conjunction of two statements p and q is written as p. This is for conjunction. p and q which is read as p and q and this statement p and q has the truth value p whenever both p and q have the truth values p otherwise it has truth value false okay so if there are two different statements that is p and q then the p conjunction q will have truth value p if and only if 
both P and Q have their truth values T. Otherwise, it is false. So here, one statement is given: P as it is raining today, and Q as there are twenty tables in this room. So, can you tell me what is the conjunction of these two statements, P and Q? How we can form the conjunction from this given statement? Which word we have to use here for conjunction? Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. You are audible. How we can form the conjunction of these two statements P and Q? Using and. And okay, correct. So here we can form the conjunction of these two variables as it is raining today and there are twenty tables in this room. Okay. Now here one statement is given. Jack and Jill went up to the hill. Up the hill. So here we have to form symbolic form for this given statement. So whenever we have to translate this one into symbolic form, we have to use symbols or variables. First variable we have taken as P, and we have assigned the value as Jack went up the hill. Okay. And second variable is Q, and that is given as Jill went up the hill. Now, in into symbolic form as P and Q. That will represent Jack and Jill went up the hill. That's why symbolic form is P and Q. Have you understood? How we have converted this sentence yes, into symbolic form? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we have to see what is the truth table for conjunction. Two variables are used, P and Q. So for this P, truth values are P P F F. For Q, P F P F. And for this P conjunction Q. What we have said, whenever there is P P, that is both are having truth values P, then only final value is P. Otherwise, it will be false. So final value for P conjunction Q is P, and remaining are false. So this is the truth table for conjunction. So keep these things in mind because whenever we are going to solve the example, we have to apply this. Connectives. Now, next one is a disjunction. This is opposite to disjunction. The disjunction of two statements P and Q is a statement P disjunction Q, which is read as P or Q. Okay. So, this is the symbol for disjunction, and this is opposite to the conjunction. The statement P or Q or P disjunction Q has truth value false only when both P and Q have truth values false. Otherwise, it is true. This or when P is having truth value F, Q is having truth value F, then only final value for P disjunction Q will be F. Otherwise, it is false. Now check here. P, Q, and P or Q. So we are going to write final value as F when both P and Q having two values false. So F, F, F here. And for the rest of the time, this is not audible properly. Hello. Hello. 
हेलो यस मैम यस मैम ऑडिबल मैम ऑडिबल यस मैम ऑडिबल ऑडिबल ओके सो फाइनल वैल्यू फॉर पी और क्यू इज एफ व्हेन बोथ पी एंड क्यू हैविंग टू वैल्यूज एफ अदरवाइज इट इज ट्रू नाउ नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज अ कंडीशनल सो इफ पी एंड क्यू आर द टू स्टेटमेंट्स देन स्टेटमेंट पी conditional q which is read as if p then q is called as conditional statement the statement p conditional q has truth value f when q has truth value f and p has truth value p otherwise it has truth value p then so when p is having truth value p and q is having truth value f then only p conditional q Have to value f. Otherwise, it is true. The statement p conditional q. In this statement, p is called as antecedent and q is called as consequent. In short, first variable. So here, first variable is p. That's why p is called as antecedent, and q is the second variable, and that variable is called as consequent. So there is one equivalence formula. P conditional Q is equivalent to negation P or Q. So this formula is very very important because we are going to solve, uh, going to apply this formula to solve the examples. So keep in mind or take note of this formula. P conditional Q is equals to negation P or Q. So here we have to take the negation of first variable. Or second variable we have to keep as it is. That is negation p or q. Now we have to see who is the proof table for conditional. So p and q are given. Then p conditional q they have truth value f when p is having truth value p and q is having truth value f. That's why right. this second. Value is false because P is having two value P and Q is having two value F. So P F F and for remaining it is two elements. So here two statements are given P and Q and we have to form a conditional of these two statements. So first step, statement is the sun is shining today. And second statement is given as two plus seven is greater than four. So, can you tell me how to form conditional from these two statements? If sun is shining through today, then two plus seven is greater than four. Yes, correct. Absolutely correct. If sun is shining today, then two plus seven is greater than four. So likewise, we can form the conditional. Now, next one is a biconditional. Why this one is called as biconditional? In conditional, there is just one arrow to that symbol, and in this biconditional, there are both the arrows in both the directions. That's why this one is called as biconditional. If P and Q are any two statements, then statement. P by conditional Q, which is read as P if and only if Q, and we can write that as P if and only if Q is called as by conditional statement. The statement P by by conditional Q has truth value P whenever both P and Q have the identical truth values. So now check. Yeah. When both are having identical truth values, what is meaning of identical? So, when both P and Q will have same truth value, then only P by conditional Q will have truth value P. Otherwise, it is false. So, check here. P is having truth value P. Q is having truth value P. That's why both are having identical truth values. That's why P by conditional Q is P. 
so again tf these are not identical ft this is also not identical that's why we have to write f there and final good value is f f again t and q are having identical good values that's why its final value is t so this is the proof table for biconditional okay if t by condition q is a statement so that can be translated into p is necessary and sufficient for q so this is the meaning of t by conditional q so again this t by conditional q can be translated as p conditional q and q conditional p this is also very important formula we need to apply this to solve the examples so for the conditional i have told you one formula p conditional q this is equivalent with which one negation of p or q is negation of p or q so likewise here p by conditional q this is equivalent with p, p conditional q and q conditional p now we have to see how we have said that these two formulas are equivalent that is p by conditional q is equivalent to p conditional q and q conditional p so we have to prove this using truth table okay so first we have to form a truth table and this statement is containing variables as p q so first of all take this would be there in truth table two variables are present so our formula is 2 raised to n so Two variables, two raised to two, that is equals to four. So four truth value combinations will be there. P, Q. Then next we have to take as P conditional Q. Then next one is Q conditional P. Then we have to take conjunction between these two, that is P conditional Q conjunction Q conditional P. And then we have to compare whether this value is same as that of the P by conditional Q. if these two values are same then only we can say that p by conditional q is equals to p conditional q and q conditional p okay so check here truth value for p is p t f f for q t f t f now for p conditional q what is our rule when this value comes false for conditional statement when p is having truth value p And Q is having two value f, then then only its value is f. Otherwise, it is p. That's why this second value is false, and all remaining values are p. Now you have to tell me what is the value for Q conditional p. <clears throat> yes. now here we have to consider q as a first variable so we have to check in value of q whenever t is there yes first t is there again check whether p is having truth value f no that's why first value is t again second t is here at the second last value now check whether p is having truth value f yes that's why this combination t f it will give you f and for all remaining values it is t okay conjunction between these two p conditional q and q conditional p so what is the rule for conjunction t t t otherwise it is f now apply that rule first value is t second value is t third right final value is t second f t it will give you f okay p f it will also give you f and last value is p t so that final value comes t now check whether this column that is hello any doubt so p no, f okay so this value 
as TFFT. Now check whether this value is same as that is called biconditional TFFT. Yes. So these two are having same value. That's why we can say that T biconditional Q, this is equivalent with T conditional Q and Q conditional T. So likewise we have to solve the sum problems to show that show that these two formulas are equivalent but these two formulas have, are having same value. Have you understood how we have proved this equivalence? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. If you are not getting anything, then stop me. I will repeat it once again. Okay. Now next statement. Next example. Construct the truth table for a formula negation of P and Q by conditional negation P or negation Q. So can we solve this example? Hello? What are connectives we have seen? We have to apply those connectives and we have to solve this problem. Can you solve it? Hello? Okay, ma'am. Okay, take two to three minutes and solve this problem. And just tell me what are the values in final column. All are true, ma'am. Have you solved it? Yes. Object. What is your answer? Hello? All true. All true? All true, yes, all true. Yes, that is yes. correct. So here, how we can solve this example? First of all, we have to check how many statement variables are there in this formula. So this formula is containing just two statement variables, P, Q. Okay. Now next, we have to take conjunction between P and Q. Then we have to apply the negation for this P and Q. Next one, we have to take negation of P, negation of Q, then negation of P or negation Q, and then we have to apply biconditional between these two formulas. So you will get final value as all T. That is called as tautology. Let me will see further. All of you, are you getting it? How to solve these kind of problems? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, one statement is given, and we have to convert that statement into symbolic form. 
okay so what is that statement if either jerry takes calculus or ken takes sociology then lori will take english okay so we have to convert this statement into symbolic form so first step we have to find out how many automatic statements are there or how many primary statements are there so we can consider first one jerry takes calculus as one statement ken takes sociology as second statement and lori will take english as a third statement so here we can say that three statements are there okay now assign the variables for these three statements like p q r or j k l and convert this statement into symbolic form can you convert it or shall i solve this example yes ma'am so here we have taken three variables j is for jerry that is jerry takes calculus k is for ken ken takes sociology and l is for lori takes english so here we can translate that one into symbolic form as j or k conditional l why we have applied here brackets because what is that given statement if either jerry takes calculus or ken takes sociology so this or is applied to these two statements that is to j and k so we have taken j or k and then statement or then word is come that's why we have taken here conditional so j or k conditional l if then that's why we have used here conditional are you getting how we have translated this statement into symbolic form yes ma'am okay yes ma'am so here this statement you have to convert into symbolic form so what is this statement the crop will be destroyed if there is a flood so first of all tell me how many atomic statements are here in this statement two two so first we can say that crop will be destroyed that is one statement and there is flood this is second statement okay so whenever we have to convert this one into symbolic form what is the statement the crop will be destroyed if there is a flood so we can say that if there is flood then crop will be destroyed so f conditional c this is the correct symbolic form now first we will solve some example based on this connectives then we will see the next point so first example is we have to construct the truth tables for following formulas first one is negation of negation p or negation q now solve this example apply the rule for disjunction negation and tell me what is the final value or final column truth values for negation of p yep, yep, yep. p Yep, yep, yep. Three times here. Yep. How you have solved? So are you? Yes. Is it possible to solve this example within two seconds? Yes, ma'am. How?
can you tell me how we can solve this example what are the different columns we need to take into table first of all please please say my first example yes this example is same as first example okay first example we have taken this earlier yes ma'am no in this pdf i have not taken it okay so here first of all we have to check how many truth value combinations will be there in truth table so for that purpose first of all we have to look at formula how many variables are there so here just two variables are there that is p and q that's why two rest to two that is four truth value combinations will be there for p and q okay so first p then q then we have to take negation of p negation of q then we have to apply disjunction as negation p or negation q and finally we have to take negation of this column and that will give you final value okay so p will will be having two values are p t f f q is having p f t f so negation means for we have to reverse the value if p is having two value t then for negation of p we becomes f f is there then we have to write p there in negation of p so f p f p so in this manner we have find out negation of p now we have to find negation of q again we have to reverse the values if p is there in q then we have to write f for negation q so t becomes f f becomes p p becomes f and f becomes p now we have to find out what is the disjunction of negation p and negation q so for this disjunction if both column are having truth value f then only final value is f so f f f f t t p f p and t t p again we have to take negation of this column so again if f is there we have to write t if p is there we have to write f so again this t becomes f and t becomes f so final values are p f f f so in this manner we can find out truth table for any given statement formula now second example negation of negation p and negation q so what is the value for this formula first of all triple t f triple t ha uh, t t t f triple t f triple t f t f okay so here again we have to check two variables are there so four possible combinations of truth values will be there and again we have to take disjunction sorry conjunction between these two negation p negation q and then we have to apply negation to it so it will give you value as t t t f next one is p and p or Q. So solve this example. T T F F. T T F F. I, I know that you are not solving it. From somewhere you are seeing and you are telling the answer. Is it so? No ma'am. <laughs> How is no, it? No ma'am. Solve. I'll read it to the class. Is it? No ma'am. Hello. Hello? मैडम ट्वेल्थ मध्य है ट्वेल्थ पहला चैप्टर है मैडम फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ट्वेल्थ मैं फास्ट कैसे मैडम अभ्यास चांगला
मैं भी जी आए थे So second question is given as given the truth values of P and Q are P and those are for R and S are F. Then find the truth values for following. So what they have said the truth value for P and Q is P and for R and S it is F. Then we have to find out truth values for this given formula. So first formula is P or Q and R. So here we have to put the given values for P. Value T is given. So T or for Q, R is sorry for Q T is given. So T and for R F is given. So P and F it will give you value as F. P or F. So final value is true. 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 Second one. P and Q and R are negation of P or Q and R or S. So again, we have to put the values either T or F given. So P has put value T and Q has again T and for R it is F or negation of T or Q, so T or P and F or F. So what is the value for F or F? It is F only. So R is two. So final answer is two. Final answer is two. Two. Yes. So how it has come? F or F? It is F. T or T? It is T. So T and F, its value is F, and we have to take negation. So negation of F is T. So that T is here again. T and P and F. So first of all, we have to solve this inner bracket. T and F, its value is F. T and F. Again, we have to solve this bracket. So T and F, it is F. So F or T. So it becomes So like this, you can solve these kind of examples. Okay. Now, in third question, statements are given. First statement that is R is Mark is rich, and H is given as Mark is happy. Then we have to convert these statements into symbolic form. So we can. So first is given as Mark is rich, but here we have taken Mark is poor. So we have to take negation of R. So negation of R. What means so? Its meaning is and. And. Is and. So and Mark is happy. That is H. So final answer is negation of R and H. Yes. Now second one, Mark is rich or unhappy. So how we can convert this one? R or negation is. R or negation is. R or negation is. Negation is. Negation is. This one. Third one, Mark is neither rich nor happy. Negation of R and negation yes. of R and or H. Negation of yes. H. Is negation of R or negation of H? Mark is poor or he is both rich and happy. Mark is poor, so we have to take negation of R or he is both rich and happy. So negation of R or R or sorry and what is that? R and negation of H. Yes. Have you understood how we have solved these kind of problems? How to convert this statement into? Yes. No. 
Now, next question is show that truth values of following formulas are independent of their component. So, first formula is given as P and P conditional Q, conditional Q. So, here we have to find out what is the truth table for this given formula. So, that truth table will contain four combinations of truth values as there are only two variables in this given formula as P and Q. So, P, Q, P conditional Q, then P and P conditional Q, and then we have to type it is conditional with Q. Now, find out the truth table. P, T, F, F, P, F, P, F. For conditional, when P is having truth value T and Q is having false, then only final value is false. Remaining, it is true. Then we have to take conjunction between P and P conditional Q. So for the conjunction, when both are having truth value T, then only final value is T. So check here. P is having truth value T. P conditional Q is having two value P. So final value is T. And for the rest of fields, it is false. Then again we have to take its conditional with Q. So first of all, we have to check here in this column whenever T is there. Yes. At the first place only T is there. No check. Whether Q is having two value F? No. That is T here. So final value is T. And for remaining values also, it is T. Because for conditional, when first column is having to value T and second column is having to value F, then only its final value is F. Otherwise, it is T. That's why this is containing all T's. So here we can say that this formula is independent on its components as its last column is containing all truth values T. Now take for second example, P conditional Q, Y conditional, negation P or Q. Check whether last column of that truth table will be containing all, all truth values T. So first of all, tell me how many columns will be there in truth table. Six. Oh, first column? Seven, seven. Seven column is there. Okay. No, no. Just tell me. Six columns. Tell me these columns like P, Q, P conditional Q, like that. P, Q, negation P. P gives Q, negation P or Q, and P and the full statement, last column. Okay, that is P conditional Q, by conditional, negation P or Q. Now check here, all the values in last column are true. That's why we can say that this formula is independent on its components. Again, question number five. Construct the truth tables for following formulas. First formula is given Q and P conditional Q, conditional P. So again, only two variables are here. So total four combinations of truth values will be there in truth table. So now we have to finalize the columns. So columns will be P. Q, Q, and last one, Q and P conditional Q, conditional P. Now find out the values and check whether last column is containing all truth values P. Or what are the different values in last column?
So first of all, tell me how many combinations of truth values will be there in truth table? Ten. 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 How? Yes. Eight. Eight. What is what is our formula? First, we have to check how many variables two are there. Two rest to. Two no. Eight eight man. Eight man. Eight. That is two rest to three. Why three? Because this formula is containing three variables as P Q R. That's why two rest to three. That is equal to eight. So there. Man, we say ten columns. Okay. Columns columns may be varied. How many combinations? That is six. So here. Eight combinations are there for truth values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what is the final value? Check here whether you have got same answer. T T T T T and last three are F. Have you understood how to solve these kind of problems? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, again, some examples are there. Construct the truth table for following statement formula P or negation Q. So, first of all, we have to analyze how many variables are there. So, just two variables are here, P and Q. So, two rest to two, that is four. So, your truth table will include four combinations of truth values. Now, find out value for P or negation Q, and tell me what is your final. Value that is values in final column. Triple T F. T. Triple T. T T T F. F. Triple T F. No. All are true. This is the correct answer. So check here. T is the first column. Then Q. Then we have to take negation of Q. Then P or negation Q. Ma'am, third one is false. F F is F. Third one is third false, sir, na? 
correct values are t t f t now construct the truth table for p and negation p so first one second one all false all false yes. just one yes. variable yes. is there yeah that's why right. only two combinations will be there F F sorry. Construct the truth table for P or Q or negation P. All true. All true. Yes. No ma'am. No ma'am. Yes, all true. Yes, ma'am, all true. Yes, that is correct. So these kind of problems we have solved. How to solve the formula if values for variables are given, either P or F. Now here, one statement is given, and we have to convert that statement into symbolic form. So, what is that statement? It is not the case that houses are cold or haunted, and it is false that cottages are warm or houses ugly. Okay. So here, first of all, we have to identify how many atomic statements are there. Or primary statements are there. Can you tell me how many atomic statements are here? Ma'am, four statements are there. Hello. Ah, uh, hello. Four statements are there, ma'am. Okay. What are those statements? Ah, uh, it is the case that houses houses are cold. Second one, it is the case that houses are haunted. Third one, it is the it is that cottages are warm. Fourth one, that it is that uh, houses ugly. Okay. So here we can say that first statement is houses are cold. We have we should not consider this part. It is not the case that because that is a negation that applied to this statement. So just we have to consider first statement is houses are cold. Second one. Houses are hunted. Third one, cottages are warm, and last one, houses are ugly. So these are our four statements. Now, with the help of these variables, we have to find out what is the symbolic form for given statement. Now, if you check this first part, is it is not the case that houses are cold. So when we have used this phrase, it is not the case that in which connective negation. 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 It's correct. So we can say that this is negation of p because our p is houses are cold. But given statement is it is not the case that houses are cold. So we have to write that negation of p. Okay. Now next one is or. So this or means it is disjunction. So we have to take negation of P or Q because Q is for houses are hunted, and and means what? It is conjunction. It is false that cottages are warm. 
So again, this is negation. Negation for R. So negation of R or house is ugly. And for this statement, house is ugly variable S. That's why negation of R or S. So in this way, we can transfer that statement into symbolic form. Have you understood? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Based on that, we have solved some problems. That is how to construct a truth table for given statement formula. So now, next we have to see what is a statement formula. So this is the next point that is statement formula and truth tables. So what is this statement formula? Suppose P and Q, these are the two statements, then we can form number of statement formula from these two statements as negation P, P or Q, P and Q or negation P. P and negation Q. So what we can say, any formula which is from formed from statement variables using parentheses or connectives is called as statement formula. Because if you consider here, this is also one of the statement formula, and that formula is containing statement variables as P Q. Again, it is containing parentheses and it is also containing connectives. So this is called as statement formula. Because they have given idea about what is a statement formula. Okay. Now here, one example is given, negation of P and Q. So here we can say that this negation is applied to this whole bracket for P and Q. Okay, so consider second one, P and Q, or Q and R. In short, this disjunction is applied to both for P and Q and Q and R. Because meaning of parenthesis is very important. We have to check for the parenthesis, then only we will get what is the meaning of this given statement formula. Now, next point is well-formed formula. This is a very important point. So, what is the well-formed formula? First of all, we have to see the definition. So, well-formed formula is an expression which is a string consists of variables, parentheses, connective symbols. A recursive definition of statement formula is called as well-formed formula. Now check here. Well-formed formula. What is the definition? Well-formed formula itself is a statement formula. And it is a string which is consists of variables, parentheses, and connective symbols. Okay. So some rules are defined for well-formed formula. First rule, a statement variable standing alone is called as well-formed formula. In short, if you consider a statement variable A, that is only variable, only one variable. So that's why that is called as well-formed formula. 
second one if a is a well formed formula then its negation is also a well formed formula third one if a and b are the well formed formulas then a and b a or b a conditional b a by conditional b are also well formed formulas and last one a string which is consist of symbols containing a statement variables connectives parentheses is a well formed formula and it can be obtained by finitely many applications of rules 1 2 3 <coughs> <coughs> so here we can define a well formed formula as first two a statement standing alone is called as well formed formula for example a is a well formed formula second one if a is well formed formula then negation of a is also a well formed formula third one if a and b are both are well formed formulas then a and b a or b a conditional b a by conditional b that is all the connectives if you apply all the connectives on a and b then it will be a well formed formula and last one a string which is contain consist of variables connectives and parentheses is also a well formed formula so these are the some rules based on well formed formula now from this we have to check what are the following formulas are well formed formulas first one negation of p and q now check whether this one is a well formed formula is because it is containing parentheses and connectives that's why this one is a well formed formula for second one लेक्चरिंग ओवर नाउ अजून 12 मिनिट आहेत मॅडम ने व्हाट्सअप वर सांगितले जाल संपले लेक्चर लिव करू का मग